So I came upon a post on Instagram where one girl, one fine babe like this was ranting. What was the problem? What happened? Fine girl. She said she was on Snapchat and one guy asked her for her phone number. She declined. The next thing, the guy sent a video of him with bundles of money. Like we saw the video on, on IG, she posted it. Bundles of money, plenty. And then the guy was also saying, you see you, ask you for your number. You refuse to give me your number. Do you think I'm here to joke? Do you think I'm, I'm want to mess around? I have money, you know, all sorts of things. And then you've missed your chance. Next time, when when ask you for uh, your number, when any guy asks you for a number, give them or something, you, you've missed your chance. See, I have money. And I was like, what is that? I don't get it. Do you guys think we're moved by money? No, 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 no. We ladies are not moved by your money. No, we prefer guys. If you want to post us, post us. And we like guys who make us feel special, beautiful, you listen to us, you're attentive to us to get. The money cannot move us. It cannot sway us. Ladies, am I speaking your minds? Am I? Let me know in the comments if you agree with me. We don't care about their money. Do we? Do we? No, we don't. So if you're a guy that you think your money will sway us or make us fall for you, You've got another thing coming. Stop it. It's a sign of inferiority complex and immaturity. Don't do it. We don't like it. Okay? Okay? All right, guys. So without further ado, let's get into the action of the day. So guys, today I'm showing you how to make a fantastic Nigerian sauce. It's called Ubaka sauce or Uba sauce. It depends on what part of the country you come from. Well, the Eastern state you come from. It's delicious. It's easy to make. It's highly nutritious and it is best paired with ball jam. You're gonna love this one. Make sure you check the description box below for a list of all the ingredients I will be using so you too can recreate this from the comfort of your home. Without further ado, let's jump right into this. To make this delicious sauce, here are the ingredients we're going to be using. As you can see, they're very few. We've got dried catfish. I've also got some onions here, some scotch bonnet peppers as well, seasoning powder, some crayfish, some utazi. Those are fresh utazi. I've got some uba or ubaka. It depends on what you call it from your part of the country, okay? I've also got some palm oil. These are all the ingredients that we're going to be using. So let's cook. First thing I'm going to do is to add some palm oil and some of you are wondering what if I don't have palm oil can I use cooking oil vegetable oil I maybe you can I don't know I've never tried it but traditionally palm oil is used and you want quite a bit of it to be honest quite a bit yeah okay so this is enough and I'm just going to turn on my gas and allow it to heat up a little once the oil is hot, go ahead and add in your onions. And yes, you need lots and lots of onions for this dish. Lots, guys. It's a very traditional recipe. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with it. If you know this dish, let me know in the comment section. Okay. okay. After a while, go ahead and put in your bell pepper and your scott bonnet peppers now just in case you hear something maybe the sound is a little bit um distorted or if you hear something it is raining seriously outside i tried to but the rain is not letting up so i hope you can hear me really well and the rain isn't disturbing all right okay so what we have in here the onions and the peppers okay so i'm just going to stir this around for a bit this is going to be really good. Now I'm adding in my dried catfish, which I have cleansed thoroughly, and um, the bone. I've also cut it into little pieces, so it's going to go in here. I'm just going to cook it to soften it a bit for maybe about two, three minutes, okay? Okay. I'm going to add some seasoning powder, okay? Because we need it nice and well seasoned. We're also going to add some crayfish powder. Like I said, this sauce is really quick and so tasty and very traditional. Then our upaka next. Now I've rinsed my upaka thoroughly. 
and it goes in. Please add as much as little as you like, right? And stare. It is coming. Hey, yam is burning. Oh my goodness. Anyway, guys, so I'm already boiling my yam here because it is best eating with yam, all right? Okay, so I'm just going to stir this thoroughly. Very easy, delicious. Oh, this is such a yummy, yummy, yummy sauce. My mom used to make it a lot for us when we were growing up. Very quick, too. So my final ingredient in this beautiful sauce of ours is my utazi. So utazi has like a bitter, a bitterish taste to it, but it's not so bad. It's really, really nice. So you're just gonna put it in there and stir. Make sure you taste to make sure that your seasoning is perfect. If you need to add a little bit of salt, go right ahead, okay? And that's it. My okwata sauce is ready. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> so I'm just gonna turn off the heat. And it's done. My yam is ready. Ooh, ooh. If you all know this dish, then you know how happy and excited I am right now. Omo, oh, this is not the type of dish that you eat with fork and knife. No. It is your hands that you used to eat. Of course, you must make sure you wash them nice and clean. And those who know, know. Ah, oh, this is so good. <laughs> Put this in my mouth. So this is how you eat it. Cheers, guys. Oh my goodness. Now, this is what you call a dish. So simple, so nice. The pepper is not too hot, but it's right there. You can taste it and amplifying the flavor. The upaka seed is still nice and crunchy. That fish, oh my God, it just adds deliciousness. Plus the yam. Ah, <laughs> if you know, you know. This is so good. And I can't wait for you to recreate this amazing dish. Let me know what you think about it. And if you take pictures, Tag me on social media, let me know you made it and you know, you love it. Please, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and of course, share this amazing, beautiful video, okay? Till I see you in another recipe video, take care and keep eating good food. Bye.